Leah Bowling was on the scene shortly after the accident. And she spoke with the homeowners who woke up to a bus in their front yard. Now behind me here, you can actually see the tire tracks where the bus rolled through two front yards and ended up in front of this house where it was finally stopped by this trailer filled with mulch. Well, I was sleeping at the time and um, heard a big thump. Daryl and Valerie Smith are the owners of the house. We came out here and here's a yellow school bus in my trailer in front of the garage. We're thankful no one was injured though. Yeah. yeah could have been a lot worse. They say the trailer in the driveway was a blessing in disguise. I had just picked up all that mulch and all the weight in there definitely slowed that bus down before it got to yeah. the house. There was only minor damage to the house. Tug Embry is a sophomore at Signal Mountain Middle High School. He was waiting for the bus outside of his home when he saw it all happen. There, I was standing just like right, like I said, right next to my mailbox. So what's that like? 20 feet, so not too far, but that's still pretty close. Yeah, she hit that ditch and went straight into their house. It's crazy, man. I was shaking for like half an hour just sitting there. He says his friends were on the bus. Yeah, my girlfriend and her sister were on there, so uh, my girlfriend's sister hit her head, I guess. She's okay. Smith cautions all drivers to stay alert during foggy conditions. Foggy out here, one of those typical mornings where you got to be careful when you're driving. Reporting on Signal Mountain, I'm Leah Bowling, Local 3 News.